Hello and welcome to the 11th lesson of the Dothraki tutorial. Today's lesson will be on the past tense of verbs. Here are your vocab words, starting with the nouns. Chiori, woman. Virzetha. In this particular context, it's used to mean red wine. Be careful not to confuse it with the adjective. Only one verb. Kemat, to marry. Two adjectives, and they are... Esina, different, davra, good, useful. Now with your newly introduced words and your current vocabulary, you should be able to understand the text. Anha kem chioriyes vosma mevos davrao. Anha akemak chioriyes esina. Yer adach alegre mai vosma lehi mai disa. Yer vadahi allegra esina. Mori indesh sewa fech. Vosma mori vos indosh viserta. Anha vindek mae. Yeri fejish anna. Vosma anha zil yeri. Anha afejak yeri. Grammar time. Of all the tense conjugations in Dothraki, Conjugating in the past tense is the easiest because you don't have to conjugate by person, but only by number. That would mean that the conjugation for I, he, she, it, and you are all the same. This is because we are referring to only one person or entity. This would also mean that the past tense conjugations for we, you guys, and they are the same because they are referring to two or more entities or persons. Here's how you would conjugate it in the past tense. If your verb is singular and positive, for both verb types, you would drop the ending, applying a parenthesis if necessary. So adachat would become anha adach, zilat would become anha zil, and dothralat would become anha dothra. If your verb is singular and negative, for AT verbs, you simply drop the ending and add an O at the end. So anha adachat would become anha vos adaho, and zilat would become anha vos zilo. Now for LAT verbs, you drop the ending and replace the last vowel with an O. So dothralat would become anha vos dothro. If your verb is plural and positive, for AT verbs, you drop the ending and add an ISH at the end. So zilat would become kisha zilish. For LAT verbs, you drop the ending and add an SH at the end. So dothralat will become kisha dothrash. If your verb is plural and negative, OSH all the way. For AT verbs, drop the ending and add an OSH at the end. For LAT verbs, drop the ending, replace the last vowel with O, and add an SH at the end. Jilat will become kisha vos jilosh, and dothralat will become kisha vos dothrosh. So for your practice, I want you to conjugate every single verb in every tense you know so far. Continue practicing the other things too, and we will call it a day for now.